Hello friends. In this video, I'll show you the procedure to create a flat roof for this 3D house. First of all, I'll create the roof slab. But before I create the roof slab, I should make sure that the 3D mold layer is the current layer because this is where I want to keep the various objects related with the flat roof. So I'll create the profile using the polyline to create the roof slab. So I'll go to polyline command. I'll create a profile to make the roof slab using a polyline. But before I do that, I should make sure that my UCS is aligned with the world coordinate setup. If it is not aligned, you can go to visualize tab and you can select the world. Or else you can give the UCS command followed by an enter. When you give an enter, it will go back to the world coordinate setup. Next, I'll use polyline command and I'll sketch the boundary. So I'll pick the various corner points in the top of the roof. Then I'll close to complete the polyline. Next, I'll go to offset command and I'll offset this polyline through a distance of 15 cm. So I'll give 15 and this is the object offset which is the polyline and I'll pick a point outward. Now it is offsetted outward. Next, I'll give extrude command and I'll select this offsetted polyline and I'll give a height of extrusion of 10 cm which is the slab thickness of the roof slab. You can go to the shaded representation and you can see the presence of the roof slab. Next, I'll move the profile which was traced first to create the roof slab. So I'll click on the move command and I'll select this profile and I'll choose this as the base point and I'll turn the ortho mode on by pressing the F8 function key. Then I'll type the distance 10 cm. Now that particular polyline is taken to the top plane of the roof slab. Next, I'll go to offset command again and I'll give an offset distance of 10 cm which is the thickness of the parapet wall. I'll select this as the object offset and this is a side offset. Next, I'll create the parapet wall by press pulling these two profiles. So I'll just click on the press pull command or else you can type press pull using the keyboard and I'll just give a click at the middle of these two profiles and you can just take the cursor in the upward direction then you can type the value which is 90 cm. So I typed 90 because that is the height of the parapet wall. Next I should create a beading which is running around the parapet wall. But before I create the beading, I'll align the UCS with the front face. So I'll click on the visualize tab and I'll select front. Okay. Next I'll create a polyline to make the profile for the beading and I'll click this as a start point and I'll give a distance of 15 cm and I'll go 3.5 downward then I go 3.5 rightward and I'll just give an enter to go out of the polyline command just give an enter to repeat the polyline command and I'll move 15 units downward then 3.5 units leftward then 3.5 units upward. Then I'll switch over to the arc option by right clicking and I'll click on the arc option. Then I'll go to right click and select second point and I'll choose a point somewhere over here as a second point. Then I'll click this as the end point. Now I'm going to join these profiles as a single profile using the join command. So I'll click on the modify panel and I'll select join and I'll select these two profiles. Now it is converted as a single profile. Next, I'll draw a polyline path along which this profile can be extruded. But before I create the path, I should align the UCS back to the world coordinate setup. So I'll click on visualize tab and I'll select world. Now I'll go to polyline again and I'll choose this as the start point. This is the end point. This is the next point. Next point. And I'll pick all the necessary points here. And I'll just give a close to complete the polyline path. Next, I'll go to extrude and I'll extrude this profile. Now, I'll go to path option and I'll select this polyline path along which it is to be extruded. Now, we have created a beading work which is on the top of the parapet wall. And you can just orbit the view, right click and go to perspective view. And you can change the visual style to shaded with edges. And you can see the presence of the beading on top.
as well as the parapet wall. So this is the simplest and the easiest method to create a flat roof using AutoCAD. You can click on the link provided to get the tutorial on sloped roofs. Thanks for your time.